When we divide algebraic fractions, it works the same way as when we divide regular fractions. You turn the second fraction upside down and you multiply instead. So if you already know how to divide regular fractions and if you know how to multiply algebraic fractions, then you already know how to do this. But let's do a couple of examples. In this question, we have a trinomial x squared plus x minus 2. What two numbers multiply to give negative 2 and add to give 1? They are 2 and negative 1. Second trinomial. What two numbers multiply to give negative 3 and add to give 2? They are 3 and negative 1. I'm going to convert the division into a multiplication symbol, and I'm going to write the second fraction upside down. So that means I'm going to factor this denominator and write its factors in the numerator here. What two numbers multiply to give 3 and add to give 4? They are positive 3 and positive 1. And now finally, this numerator will go down here. What two numbers multiply to give 22 and add to give 13? They are positive 11 and positive 2. Now this is just like a multiplying algebraic fractions question. We will cancel and simplify. These x minus 1's cancel. These x plus 3's cancel. These x plus 2's cancel. And all that's left is the x plus 1 here and the x plus 11 down there. So our final answer is x plus 1 over x plus 11. In this example, we have two operations, both of which are divisions. The first step is going to be to factor everything as completely as we can. A squared minus 16 is a difference of squares and factors to A minus 4, A plus 4. 8A squared minus 2A is common factor and factors to 2A, 4A minus 1. A cubed minus 4A squared is also a common factor and factors to A squared, A minus 4. 2a squared minus 6a, common factor, factors to 2a, a minus 3. 8a plus 2 is a common factor and factors to 2, 4a plus 1. And finally, 16a squared minus 1 is another difference of squares and factors to 4a minus 1, 4a plus 1. The next step is we move down to the next line. Each division sign is replaced with a multiplication symbol, and the fraction after the division sign turns upside down. We can do this to both of these fractions at once. So over here, we still have a minus 4, a plus 4, over 2a, 4a minus 1. Here, the a squared, a minus 4, moves to the bottom. And the 2a, a minus 3 moves to the top. Here the 2, 4a plus 1 moves to the bottom. And the 4a minus 1, 4a plus 1 moves to the top. Now this is a multiplication question and it's time to cancel and simplify so that we can write our answer into a single algebraic fraction. 4a minus 1 cancels with this 4a minus 1. These 4a plus 1s cancel with each other. The a minus 4 cancels with this a minus 4. This 2 cancels with one of the ones on the bottom, so I'm going to cancel it with this one. This a cancels with one of the a's on the bottom, I'll cancel this one. All that's left is a plus 4, a minus 3 in the top an a squared and a 2 in the bottom. So our final answer is a plus 4, a minus 3, over 2a squared.
As you can see, dividing algebraic fractions is very similar to dividing regular fractions, and it's also very similar to multiplying algebraic fractions. If you know how to multiply algebraic fractions and you know how to divide regular fractions, it means you already know how to do this. Of course, you also have to know how to factor.